Cheerleading is all about the style, the moves and the music. There's also the falls and the big leaps, but here at the La Trobe University Dance Sports Club, everyone's working hard to perfect their routine for the upcoming Winterfest and Southern University Games. Into its fourth year of competition at University Games, the Eagles will be looking to nudge out RMIT, having come second place to them in 2013. With me tonight at the All-Star Gym, I have Alex, who's one of the athletes and the team manager. Alex, would you like to come over here, please? How are you tonight? Good, thank you. First question I want to ask you is, what, what, what's your role as one of the, come in a bit, what's your role as one of the team managers here for the um, Latrobe Dance Sports Club? Um, so as team manager, I've organised in us getting up to Aubrey Wodonga this year, um, all our accommodation and transport and fees and everything like that, um, and then on the day, making sure that everyone's where they need to be. Now, the, on the day is Wednesday, July, Wednesday, July 9th, sorry, and, and it's an all-day competition, mm -hmm. jazz, palm, dance, and the, and the one, two, three, four cheer. How are you going to work to make sure that everyone's fresh and ready to go for their routine? because it's an all-day event. Yeah, so on the day we have the 9 o'clock till 2 p.m. session and that is, I think, our um, jazz, hip-hop, jazz doubles and hip-hop doubles as well. And then we have a big break from 2 until 4. At 4 o'clock is when our cheer and our pom starts. So in between that break we'll really be conserving energy, um, making sure everyone's fresh and ready to go, especially if they're in two sessions. Um, most of our athletes are mainly the cheer section starting at 4 p.m. on the day, so they should be fresh and good to go. One more thing about preparation is making sure that you minimise the risk of injuries and potential falls without revealing too much to everyone else. How do you how do you do that at training to make sure everyone's going to stay fit and active? Yeah, so we do a big warm up and stretch all together, all our cheerleaders, one, two, three, four, everybody. Um, and then we make sure we have enough spotters for all of our stunts. So especially our one, two team this year, probably about 80% of the team are brand new to the sport. Um, so that includes a lot of working on basic level one skills before we move our um, routine up to level two and making sure we always have spotters and everything. On, on uni games, you, the whole of the Latrobe cheer team just lost out to RMIT last year, so coming second. What are your expectations for 2014? Um, 2014, we have a lot more athletes in um, the uni games competitions. Um, last year and the previous years, we've probably usually only taken about one cheer team, maybe one dance team. Uh, this year, we're basically in every single section, doubles, dance, stunt groups, partner stunts, cheer, everything. So we're good to go, ready to get those points. On a personal note, can you tell me an experience from either Southern Univer from any Southern University games that you've been to that sticks in your mind, whether it be in the cheer arena or out somewhere at night? Um, I haven't been to uni games just yet. This is my first year as team manager, um, but probably the most exciting thing at uni games that people don't really see is the mascot competition and mascots from universities running around that you won't see at um, all-star competitions. So, yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, lastly, on Winterfest, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, will you use that as sort of a benchmark or a platform to say perfect and refine some routines and techniques going into uni games yeah definitely Winterfest is one week before uni games this year so um, especially our cheer teams or and our dance teams basically everyone you like to see where you're standing um, so you get a good um, you get to see the competition for the first time in the year um, get to see what you need to improve on even in that short time coming up to uni games thanks Alex sounds like it's quite demanding for the La Trobe cheer team I'm also here with Steph, the Latrobe 3-4 coach for Chia. Steph, do you want to come over here for a sec? How are you tonight? Good, thanks. Um, level 3-4 probably demands something a little higher than, say, level 1 and 2 and maybe the POM squad. How, what, what's your role in, in the coaching aspect? Well, it's really exciting because level 3-4, this is the first year there are so many teams in the division. It's really good for university cheerleading as a whole in Australia. So it's really awesome to be given the opportunity to coach the, one of the highest levels in cheerleading. Um, from my athletes, I do expect 100% attendance rate so that we can progress. Um, even if one person's away, it causes the stud group not to go, causes the routine not to go, and even if one person's missing, it compromises training quite a bit. Steph, what are some of your personal experiences from coaching, whether it be at some, a tournament like University Games or in, in other, other tournaments around the state or something like that? Sure. Um, co coaching is um, really amazing, the fact that I can actually guide my athletes and mold them exactly how I feel like they need to be. But on the day, it's all them, all the hard work and all the training, and I can't hold their hand anymore. It's completely them, and they get to shine. And, and express themselves and perform as hard or as little as they want to and there's nothing I can do. So, What are you most looking forward to when the squad goes to University Games in a few weeks? 
Um, I'm really excited. Um, I, I have a pretty good track record at University Games so far, and I hope to continue the tradition. I have a really strong group of 16 athletes. Um, they had to try out to be part of the squad. Um, and there is a combination of a stunting, gymnastics, pyramids, and it's all to a, a two and a half minute high impact dynamic routine. Sounds like it's a lot of training for a very little bit of time. It is. We, we actually train all year. We do um, three hours of training a week for two and a half minutes on the mat. So. Sounds like it's really demanding, but at the same time, it's well worth it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Steph. Thank you. I'm Davis Harrigan for Australian University Sport at the La Trobe University Dance Sports Club Training.